Hey guys, it is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire making another Why Teachers Quit video. Um, today, I'm going to talk about something that would probably help a lot of teachers not quit, and that is administrators. There is a lot that administrators could do that would help teachers be able to stay in education or at least make their job a lot easier. Um, I and, and if you haven't watched a lot of my videos, I will tell you that I was a teacher for 17 years and I was an administrator for 12. So I spent most of my career as a teacher. And this is something that always bothered me when I was a teacher. All right, it always bugged me. Um, and if you're an administrator now, there's nothing you can do about this. But if you are thinking about becoming an administrator in the future, I want you to keep this in mind uh, because it's going to help you as an administrator and it's going to help the teachers. All right, the first thing that you can do is don't become an administrator until you have been teaching, in my opinion, now this is my opinion, you need to have taught at least 10 years before you become an administrator. And, you know, the the obvious reason for that is to be a good administrator. And they make a big deal about how you are there to help the teacher, okay? You're, you are to support the teacher. Now, you're there for the kids and you're there for the parents and all that, but, you know, boots on the ground, you need to help those teachers do their jobs. And if you have never done their job, and I mean, I don't mean like do it for a couple of years, I mean do the job. If you have not done the job for 10 years and been successful at it, then I don't think you need to be an administrator. Now again, that's my opinion. Because um, some people may not like that, you know. They may say, well, I was just a, a teacher for five years and I'm a great, that, that's, you know, I know there's probably people that are just born great administrators, but in general, when I was a teacher and I looked at administrators, if it was an administrator that I had worked with as a teacher and I knew they were, you know, they were one of us, you know, they were a teacher, they could do the job, I respected them a lot more and I was more likely to listen to them and I was more likely to feel supported by them if I knew that they knew what I was doing, if I knew they understood me and they understood my job. That made a huge impact on me. If you were somebody that became an administrator after two or three years, and you know you were an elementary school PE teacher or something, and now you're an administrator at a high school, and you're trying to explain to me how I need to teach my class, you know I had a hard time with that. Um, and when I was a teacher, I was not a um, <laughs> I I was a person that would ask questions. I was a person that would speak up at the faculty meetings. I was a person that would, you know, why are we doing this kind of a person? I was not, you know, just to sit back and do what they say, teacher. Um, I had my opinions. I had, you know, I knew if something was not right, um, I was a teacher that would say something about it. And, and I didn't just start off like that. Uh, after years and years and years and years of being a teacher, I finally, you know, when I you know, when I finally quit being a teacher and I became an administrator, I was a good teacher. Now, at the beginning, was I a good teacher? Not so much. But after, you know, years and years, I knew what I was doing. And I respected administrators that were longtime teachers because they knew what they were talking about. I knew I could trust them. All right? And when I became an administrator, I became an administrator in the school where, in one of the schools where I taught. And I had been a teacher for a long time, and all the teachers knew me. And when I became an administrator at that school, I had their ear. You know, they listened to me uh, because they knew I was a good teacher. They trusted me already. I didn't have to prove myself to them. I, they uh, they automatically said that guy is, is somebody I'm you know that I can follow. That's a good leader. They knew it. So, if you're thinking about becoming an administrator in the future, you need to wait until you're ready and you're ready when you're a good teacher if you're not a good teacher you don't need to be an administrator bottom line 
and like I said, that's my opinion. You can take that the way you want to, but that's how I feel about it. All right, the second thing, I'm only gonna talk, I'm only gonna talk about two things in this video. The second thing you can do to really help teachers is this, uh, tell them what to do. Now that sounds kind of obvious. Well, of course they tell them what to do, but if you're not in education, you, you won't really understand. Um, probably about 20 years ago, there, there was a big movement about, you know, what we need to start doing in these, in these schools is building a consensus. And when we make decisions, it needs to be a consensus. We need to get all the players together and everybody give their opinion and then come to a decision together and decide what's best for our school and best for our students. And that's, that's a great idea for, you know, certain things. But we, in education, I feel have taken, we've taken that to an extreme. We feel like we have to build a consensus for everything we do. And that's just not true. Uh, there are some things in, in the interest of being expedient that we just need to make decisions and do them. And a lot of administrators, because they've been teaching during the era of building consensus, a lot of administrators have, have come up through the through the ranks during the building consensus years uh, that they 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 feel like they can't tell anybody what to do. They have to have a consensus. Like we have to all get together and let's talk about it and make a decision. And I was not of that era. I was I could make a decision. I don't have to have a you know. And a lot of administrators were not like me. And uh, there were times when, you know, we would have a meeting and it had been going on for 45 minutes and we were building a consensus. And at the end of the 45 minutes, we decided exactly what I would have told everybody to do in three minutes. And that's part of being a somebody that the teachers can trust and respect. If you're a person that they know is a good teacher, you can make a decision that they'll respect and they'll go by just, you know, like that. Meeting is over in three minutes instead of meeting is over in three hours. And now, that, you know, there are certain things you do need to build a consensus for in your building and in your district and things like that. But there's a lot of things that we don't need to have a four hour meeting. We can just, let me just tell you what to do. And a lot of teachers appreciate that. A lot of teachers are like, look, man, let's cut to the chase. Tell me what it is you want. Tell me what it is you're looking for. I'll do it, but I don't have time to sit here, you know, with all, all of us taking a turn and all of us talking and all of us, you know, just you, you just tell me. And they appreciate that. They appreciate you not wasting their time because they've only got so much time. They've got so much to do. And sometimes I felt like these consensus building meetings were a waste of time. Now, like I said, not all of them were but a lot of them were. I, you know, you could save a whole lot of time as an administrator by sometimes going, you know what? I'm just gonna tell everybody how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna tell everybody how this is gonna go down because I've been doing this for 20 years. I know what I'm doing. They know I know what I'm doing. Let's just, let's go, let's do it. And they appreciate that. Teachers will appreciate that. So that's two things that administrators can do. Get experience before you become an administrator like I said, if you're an administrator now, it's too late. You just There are some things you can do I'll talk about later in some other videos that will help you. And number two, don't waste everybody's time. Just tell people what to do. Make decisions. Tell people what to do when it's appropriate. Guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching these videos. Uh, I'll have some more upcoming ones about how the administrators can help. Uh, hopefully, you know, I don't know how many administrators watch my videos. I know a lot of teachers do. But I hope that this can help people, help administrators, and uh, you know, help them keep teachers on board, keep teachers from quitting, uh, because that, that's a huge thing today. How many teachers are leaving the profession? We want them to stay. You, you want to get to retirement like me and enjoy the, the benefits of retirement like I do, uh, you got to stay in it for 30 years. So you do in Georgia. So anyway, you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.